Hey guys, it's Sunday morning and I'm spreading out compost before the snow and rain comes this week. This is green cow compost that I got from Dublin. It's great compost. You can see uh, how smooth it is. Very, it's just good compost. Has uh, a lot of good calcium for it. So that way you don't have a blossom end rot for your watermelon, squash and other things. I'm gonna spread it out here. This is my watermelon patch last year. I've already tilled it twice. So I'm gonna spread it through here, <coughs> smooth it out and till it again. And I probably won't plant until April. And that way it gives about two months for that uh, compost to activate to the soil. Anyways, that's also why I'm kind of looking for a manure spreader. So if you have a manure spreader that you're not using, you'd like to sell it, please contact me because I have things like this that I'd like to spread that compost across. Also, I'd like to spread it across my coastal field here. And uh, anyways, today it's cold, it's wet, and uh, I'm poor and I have an open cab tractor. And I'm going to spread it with that bucket, grate it with that uh, blade, and then come back with my tiller and till it all in. So anyways, <coughs> green cow compost in Dublin, go get you some. So, Well, I got it kind of spread out and I got to take my rake and shovel and uh, smooth it out and throw it out. I saved about two bucket loads left to uh, uh, hit the spots after I smooth it out a little bit with the rake and shovel. And uh, you'll see how it looks. There's my rake and there's my shovel. There's a wainy. When your rake handle breaks, go get you some closet rod from the hardware store. You when your wooden handle breaks and then go take it to an anvil and then just hammer the tar out of it and you'll have a metal rake handle that will last a long time that won't break like that. So I'm gonna go smooth it out and I'll show y'all what it looks like. Here I am tilling. You can see what it's doing there. Anyways, just tilling the garden, get that compost in, let the freeze kill the root systems. Probably till it two more times before I plant. Well, you can see uh, that I started tilling. I spread it out the best I can. I'm on my Maxi Ferguson 65. It's an old uh, tractor, but it's a good one. There's my tiller, it's a six foot tiller. And then you can see the difference it makes. I've already made one round. You can see right over there where I came back around. There's the compost spread out. And uh, you can see how fluffy this tiller is making it. Uh, I still got to till it, but I want the cold weather to, uh, you can see my footprints there. I wanted y'all to see how, how deep it's tilling. But I'm just kind of till that compost in and get ready for the spring garden. So this will be a mixture of corn, peas, green beans, and watermelons here. So anyways, gonna finish tilling, get out of this cold weather, I'm freezing. See y'all later. Got have a little bit of dirt left. But I'm gonna use those for around some fruit trees. Well, I have about 12 peach trees and quite a few apple trees and pears. But that's it. It's all tilled, looking nice and smooth. Looks beautiful. Let it let it get snowed on, frost on, kill all the root systems, especially the Bermuda grass and stuff. And then probably till it again in another two weeks and let it get hopefully get another freeze on it and get ready to plant in April. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.